Hello and welcome to the roundup of this week's edition of the Engineering News and Mining Weekly magazine, published on Friday, 19 August 2022. In this week's cover article, Engineering News and Mining Weekly Deputy Editor for Features Nadine James discusses the growing need to embed climate resilience into South Africa's infrastructure. News about extreme weather events has become a monthly occurrence, highlighting the importance of embedding some measure of infrastructure and societal resilience in the evolving climate. The engineering news features focus on materials handling and logistics, where a heavy lifting assembly project is finalized without a hitch. And the South African Institute of Steel Construction, where the Institute plans to use online and mentorship programs to address skill shortages. The Mining Weekly features focus on Australian mining, where an Australia-based exploration company completes a drilling project. New mining technologies, where multifunctional security technologies can boost productivity. And critical metals, where an environmental project plan is conducive to sustainable supply. This week's business leader is Hadley Nartis, chairperson of the board of Tantalex Lithium Resources Corporation. And as this week's cartoon shows, the water stresses being experienced in the Eastern Cape should serve as a wake-up call to the leaders and citizens of all cities and provinces. Without proper planning, good governance, and the implementation of adaptation measures and infrastructure, the risk of day zero events is certain to grow. We hope you enjoy this week's edition of Crema Media's Engineering News and Mining Weekly. Be sure to subscribe to the magazine that offers you in-depth news about developments in the real economy by emailing subscriptions at engineeringnews.co.za. Happy reading and see you next time.